Hi folks, I'm Steve Judd, I'm an astrologer and this is my global forecast for July 2010. Those of you who tune into the global forecast know that over the last few months I've been increasingly volatile, increasingly not so much angry but specific about what I see is going on in the world and the likely outcomes and those of you who've been watching know that I've called quite a few events recently. To my mind, July 2010 is the pimple on top of the boil. As I've said to many of you before, 2010 is astrology's 2012. This is the time of what I see as the breakdown of the old systems of, of organization. This is the end of capitalism as we've always understood it as being. This is the end of the corporate system. And whilst of course the repercussions of this time are going to echo and take a couple of years to permeate through all of the systems, nevertheless, this is the end. There's been three or four consecutive waves of change coming in from the start of May, end of May, end of June, particularly the last week of June. And now we're in July and we're heading into the fourth wave. And this is all going to peak as we hit the last 10 days of July. Many of you would have heard about the Grand Cross that's coming up and the actual date of the Grand Cross is the 7th of August, but it's not really a Grand Cross as per se. It does suggest, however, that the period of August 1999 through to August 2010 is the most concentrated period of compressed change, astrologically speaking, that humanity's ever seen. And the period at, of May 2010 through to August 2010 is kind of summarising this pressure into one big boil and the period at the end of July 2010 when we have uh, Mars and Venus and Saturn together at zero Libra opposite Jupiter and Uranus at zero Aries, all square Cap uh, Pluto at the start of Capricorn, this is the pimple on top of the boil. I'm not going to be so crass as to make predictions around political figures, economic situations or specific countries. It's gone past that. Where we are now, this is the end of old systems of organisations that have been really solid for us in the past, that have provided us with structure, that have given us a system of belief in ourselves. But let's, let's come out of the corporate and let's look at the religious. This is the end of religion. 20, July 2010 will be seen in years to come as the death nasp of the churches. The attendance in churches has dropped amazingly just in the last year. Increasingly, fundamentalism has taken hold. In the old days, we needed the churches because it was community. We needed someone to administer to our spiritual needs because we spent so long working in the fields. Now the idea of a priest turning around and saying you can only talk to God through me is redundant. We all have our own relationship with the divine. We all have our own relationship with spirit. Organised religion is on its way out and July 2010 in years to come will be seen as the turning point in individuals finding God within themselves, no matter how they conceive the divine to be. This month is just crazy and I do expect a rapid escalation of tension, both personally and globally, to occur in the last three or four days of this month and the first couple of days of August. And to my mind, this is the peak. And after this, I will dare to start predicting long-term futures again. But those of you who've been watching this stuff over the last months know that I've been waiting for this time for over 30 years. And it's fun. We're on a surfboard. You can't... The tidal wave of change is upon us. You can't run. Because if you run, it's going to pick you up and sweep you all over the place. You'll get swept and you'll get abandoned. If you stand still, it's going to pull the rug from underneath your feet. It's going to pull the sound out from underneath you and you'll, you'll go. If you go with the flow and surf the wave of change, yes, it's rocky at first, but you gradually get into the current and you surf the wave of change and it knows where it's going and it's got your best interest at heart because it's being at least partially generated by your own unconscious and subconscious. This is the time of ultimate responsibility. You can't blame anyone else anymore. It's your life, it's your responsibility. Make the best of it, hold the best of intent, go into the future with your eyes wide open, your heart wide open and know that within another month or two from now, we're gonna be able to safely make long-term futures again for the first time in a year at least. So enjoy the ride, have fun, See you on the other side.